YouTube, I'm back. Um, first off, I'd just like to say, you know, this is probably going to be my last herping video of the season. Uh, maybe one more. I might go out maybe this weekend, but that's probably about it. Um, it's getting to be fall. Leaves are turning yellow. Temperature's getting a little bit dark, or uh, a little bit, you know, colder, and it's starting to get darker earlier again. Yeah, today, this is what I got for you. This is a lifer for me. I've never caught or seen one, so check her out. All right, everybody, this is what I got for you today. This is the Eastern Fence Lizard. Um, I actually didn't catch one and catch these. Uh, a buddy of mine did at um, the same place where we catch all our water snakes and um, and you know that's pretty much all we catch there. But uh, he actually caught them there, and that's why we're heading back there this weekend to hopefully find some more, maybe some uh, little one, ones a little bit larger than this one. So this is the eastern fence lizard. Um, this is a younger one. You can see he kind of has a little bit more of a blue shade to him. Uh, but he is growing, he is healthy. You can see a little bit there, that sort of whiter spot on the tip of his nose. He's starting to go into shed just a tad. Um, there's sick talons there. But uh, this one, when my buddy caught him, I think he must have mistakenly grabbed his tail because he did release a little bit of him. Uh, a little bit of his tail, but it'll grow back. I mean, he is a lizard. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of a bearded dragon, to be totally honest with you. Um, a little bit of a toad and a little bit of a bearded dragon. He's real cool. I mean, he's real cool. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with all the facts that if you really wanted to know anything about him, you could Google him. But uh, definitely the coolest thing I've caught so far. Um, this is a juvenile. Tell by the color. Uh, typically, they will get bigger, maybe about the size of my hand. But um, they are lizards, so they're pretty much majority all tail. Uh, kind of like a bearded dragon. But, uh, yeah. Some pretty sick uh, patterning, or patterning on him. The cool toes, the sides of them are pretty sweet. The eye. That's probably the coolest thing about reptiles. It's always the eye. See, he's behaving really, really well right now, but if something spooked him, or if, say, I accidentally touched him, he'd be gone. Totally awesome lizard. Um, you know, uh, pr they're pretty much the only lizard species in Pennsylvania, um, at least that I can think of. They are different in uh they're from skinks i'm not quite sure if skinks count as lizards i wouldn't know what they would be if they weren't but um i think they're a little bit different than skinks i've always wanted to catch um a fence lizard people say they've seen them around but i've never uh even come close to seeing one before even ones that you know got away i've never seen them before but this is really cool it's really cool. Probably the coolest thing that Pennsylvania has locally. Hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, earlier I showed you guys uh, on a separate date um, the other eastern fence lizard. That one was a uh, blue one, uh, the blue phase, which typically occurs in the younger ones, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But here is the other phase. This one is typically seen in adults. Um, or any stage, I guess, beyond juveniles. 
uh, you can see the same patterns, patternings, I guess, um, but just a different, completely different color. It's very cool. This one uh, has all of his tail, unlike the last one. Well, most of it. I'm not quite sure about the tip there, but it's got more of it than the blue one did. It's another very cool, very cool animal. Very interesting looking. Real cool designs on his side. There's almost chevron looking black things. So he must have something in his eye, I guess. So I guess that does it, and that's pretty much it for this season, too. So this is a real good way to conclude it. I'm going to try and take care of his eye here, because it looks like he does have something in it. But typically when you find them, they'll be doing just this. Resting out in the open. You know, just uh, basking in the sun. Since they are lizards, they do need the constant barrage of UV rays and whatnot. And uh, typically you see them on their namesake fences. Anyways, thank you all for watching this year's herpetology season. But uh, you can look forward to next year's, next spring, which will come faster than you think. And you can also look forward to uh, the videos of my pets and my personal collection. So, uh, thanks again.